around 2800 BC, there lived a hunter named Nimrod in Babylon, which was located between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. Whenever wild animals threatened the people, he protected them with his power. As people respected and supported him, Nimrod became arrogant and incited people to build the Tower of Babel. Come, let us build a tower that reaches to the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. Such deeds of Nimrod that were against God has continued even after Nimrod had died. Semiramis, Nimrod's wife, insisted that Nimrod became the sun god. She cut Nimrod's dead body into pieces and sent them to each tribe of Babylon. People regarded the place where a part of Nimrod was buried as sacred. She also claimed that Nimrod was reincarnated as her son. The sun god Nimrod was reincarnated as my son Tammuz. He who believes and follows Tammuz follows Nimrod. As Semiramis ruled over Babylon in place of her young son Tammuz, she maneuvered people into worshiping her. Monuments of Semiramis carrying her child Tammuz in her arms were set up all over Babylon, along with various images symbolizing the sun god. The sun worship and the mother-child worship, which was a scheme devised by Semiramis, put down roots as a religion of Babylon. Idolatry stemmed from Babylon spread to many countries after the Tower of Babel collapsed, it is because when the Babylonians were scattered over the whole world, they brought the sun worship and the mother-child worship. The sun worship and the mother-child worship were assimilated into the cultures and religions of many countries and they came to have various forms and names. Nimrod, the sun god, was known as Mithra in Persia, Sol in Rome, Ra or Horus in Egypt, and Apollo in Greece. Semiramis and Tammuz, who were the start of the mother-child worship, was called Isis and Horus, Venus and Dionysus, Diana and Attis, and Astaroth and Tammuz, respectively. Besides these, the image of goddess, who is holding a baby in her arms, was venerated in many countries of the world. If so, was the mother-child worship the creature of an age, which was especially welcomed only in Babylon? Surprisingly, the mother-child worship of Babylon has been passed down through the thousands of years and still exists today. In Vatican of Rome, we can find the mother-child worship in its original state.